Hey, how you doing? It's Emilio here. I've got myself a nice little new computer. This is it right over here, GMK Tech. Uh, this thing is cool. This thing is cool. It's small, it's compact. It looks like it's packing a punch. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be showing you the actual computer. I've got an awesome little home lab set up with a whole bunch of different sorts of tech. So I'm really excited to add this one in, have a look at it. It comes with Windows right out of the box, Windows 11, how cool is that? But before we do get into that, please do the subscription thing, click on the button on the bell. We release videos on tech, on all things tech. So I would love it if you did that. And uh, let's check it out, let's go for it. So once we've taken the wrapping off, I've opened the box up and here is our little computer. And boy, does it look nice. It's really light as well. Now inside of the box, we got all the usual stuff, your power, a HDMI, a little mount. So you can actually mount the unit as well, warranty cards and all of that. Now my first impressions are, I like it. I like it, it feels pretty sturdy and it's really, really light, like seriously light. And there's a whole bunch of ports on it. I mean, this thing is incredible. On the front, we've got ourselves a couple of USBs, USBs threes from the looks of it. Then on the back, you've got another couple of USBs. You've got two HDMI, so I can run my HDMI monitors. It's pretty cool. Then of course, your ethernet jack, right? You wanna run in your blue network cable, that's really cool. A headphone jack and then your power. And you know the thing that I love probably more than anything is um, I always like to open the things up, right? Open up the computer and have a look at what's actually inside. Because like the computers just, when they're, caught, when they're small and they're compact, um, you just wanna see how they've sort of laid everything out. And they've laid this out pretty awesome. And how's this? To open it up, all I literally did was just pop the top off just popped it off. I didn't have to use my screwdriver to unscrew all these really annoying screws. No, pop off. And then I could install some additional RAM and do the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Now inside of it, this unit, my one, came with a 16 gig slot of RAM and I can put a lot more in it. Just easily pop it out, put some new one in. And it came with an NVMe hard drive. I mean, these little things are awesome. They just sort of slot in. This one is a huge one terabyte, but of course you can go and change this as you need to. I just love the way that this thing looks inside. You pop it back in and then we go from there. Now the nice thing about this unit is that it's cheap. Like it's super cheap. This is the Knuckbox G3 and they are pitching it as the most cost effective mini PC that comes with an Intel processor. I mean, this is cool. Out of the box, you can just get a bare bone version, which means it doesn't really come with anything on the inside. But of course, if you do want your terabyte hard drive in there, you want your 512 gig hard drive, you throw that in there. It also comes in a couple of colors, which includes the lush green and the titanium gray. And then you select the right power that is right for you. Um, I'm gonna show you something. I've just logged into the BIOS on this thing and I found something on it that I couldn't believe. I'm like, is this thing actually legit on a $120 computer? Check it out. Can you see that thing in yellow? Virtualization technology. Oh man. Yes, yes, yes. It is booting. VMware's ESXi. How is that? Look, I couldn't get version six of ESXi installed onto it, but I could get version eight. I can't believe it. You can actually install virtualization hypervisor on this literally $120 computer. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit of a tech nerd and I've got this thing called Active Directory, which is Microsoft's sort of suite for managing of computers. You see them a lot in businesses. So I'm gonna bind my computer, this new Windows 11 GMK tech computer to Active Directory so I can get it onto a corporate network. Then once that is done, we're gonna go and install Plex Media Server, and I'm gonna then connect it to my NAS. Essentially what Plex Media Server will let me do is it lets me run a whole bunch of movies, TV shows, it lets me run my own home travel videos, all of that sort of stuff in one central spot. The computer will do all the work and host this media server software and then as long as I've got all the data running into it, I then connect it up to all of my smart devices, my phone, my Apple TV, my TVs around my house, so that I can then stream all of my video content to 
anywhere. So the steps are really, really easy. On our computer, we're gonna go and visit the Plex website. Go into your Google machine, type in Plex Media Server, and then you're presented with the login screen where you go and install the Windows version of Plex Media Server. Once it's installed, you just follow the simple prompts to get it up and running. You may need to create yourself a Plex account and then you need to go and point your Plex media server to all of the content that is running on your computer. Now, in my case, as I said, I'm connecting it into a NAS. So I've got a network drive, which is my NAS, where all of my media content is sitting. In your case, you could have a USB stick that you run into the side of this little computer, or you can sort it on the computer itself. I mean, I've got a one terabyte hard drive on this thing, so it's gonna work quite well put all of that content and then create all the separate categories for your movies, for your TV shows, et cetera, et cetera to then get it up and running. And the nice thing about Plex is it actually goes and scans all of your media content automatically. This is the beautiful thing about this media server. You literally just say movies, and then it will go to some database out on the interwebs and scan all of the movies that are out there. And then it'll match them to the actual names and download the cover art, download a little description of what it looks like. It does the same thing for your TV shows and all of that. It's really, really cool. The next step is to grab any device that is on my network that I want to use for streaming of my content. And I said, it could be your TV, it could be like an Apple TV, a Google Chrome, it could be your iPhone, your iPad. You download the Plex player. This is where you go to the app store. Some of these TVs nowadays have it built in. As long as you've got the Plex player, if everything has worked and those devices are on the same network as your GMK tech computer, it'll just scan the thing. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. It should start to play all of your content directly on those devices. You want something small, something compact. This thing is perfect, small, and it packs a punch. And it was able to play my videos at quite a good resolution. No jittery. It actually worked very, very smoothly. I'll tell you what. Now look, now look. Is this potentially, I'm going to just put it out there. Is this potentially a Raspberry Pi killer? I mean, the Raspberry Pi is, of course, are small and they're compact. This computer is ridiculously cheap. I mean, seriously, ridiculously cheap. And it comes with a lot more stuff inside of it, allowing you to run a lot more powerful stuff that you may not get on that other one. You can go pick one of those things up. I've got a link down below of this video description. Pretty cool. GMK Tech, check it out. My name is Emilio. I love tech. Do the subscription thing as well. We'll see you on the next video.